聽日就係二十一號啦。咁我相信大家作為元朗人咧，係唔會唔記得嘅，唔好唔記得。曾經喺上面發生過咩事啦 ？Over the past year, on the evening of the 20th each month, people come to Yunlong Station on the West Rail Line to put up posters about the 7:21 incident. But in the past six months, none of these posters lasted more than a night. 點解你要噴嗰啲嘢嘅？可唔可以講兩句啊？你哋可以叫我都可以噴。嗱，你哋係咪有另外一個諗法啊？係啊。One year has passed. Over time, the narrative of the incident has morphed from an attack by white-clad men on civilians into a violent confrontation between men in white T-shirts and men wearing black. There have been even accusations that the incident was instigated by black-clad men. Hong Kong Connection reviewed CCTV and online footage from the day to look for clues and track down those captured on film in a bit to understand the truth as they told it. Mr. So is a chef. On the evening of July 21st last year, he was attacked by a group of white-clad men wielding rattan sticks on Feng Yao Street North just as he finished work. 不停咁打我啦！我嗰陣仲著住對廚房鞋，啱啱喺上面放工，乜都冇做嘅咧，係咪誒打錯人啊之類咁樣同佢哋講？真係死裏逃生，因為當時料真係好多人啊！咁我係真係跑先走得甩嘅啫。最明顯就一定係手啦！你見到佢呢啲淤血啊，有啲就腫咗，剝剝頭。即係你見到啲深色真係冇忽好肉咁樣咯。咁呢啲肯定係藤條痕嚟㗎啦。一喐就會痛咯，維持咗個幾禮拜啊 ！After a year, Mr. So's injuries have fully healed. However, he has a question still unanswered. He doesn't know why he was beaten. He said there's been no justice for what happened on 7:21 from neither the police nor the Independent Police Complaints Council report. 警方連認人嘅程序都冇，得唔到我想要嘅答案咯。我唔知點解俾人打咯，亦都唔知邊個人打我咯。好明顯喺呢間雞地襲擊我嘅人係同佢喺上面西鐵站襲擊人，大家都係著住白色衫，都係攞住藤條。大家個相似性咁大嘅情況下，佢之間緊有冇個關係咧？咁呢一樣係個監警會嘅報告完全係冇提及嘅咯。After comparing CCTV and online footage from the night, Hong Kong Connection found out that a number of white-clad men who appeared in Yunlong Station had gathered in the Feng Yao Street North area before the incident. This man in light green shorts attacked civilians with a wooden bat and a bamboo stick multiple times that evening. He walked towards the park with around 200 white-clad men at about 8:30 p.m. He also appeared in a clip of white-clad men gathering in Nam Bin Wai from earlier that day. This man with the word "soda" printed on his T-shirt and this man in a grey T-shirt and black pants got into a van at around 10:30 p.m. on Feng Yao Street North. This man wearing a black face mask walked towards the park with about 80 white-clad men holding Chinese flags at around 10 p.m. Hong Kong Connection showed Mr. So CCTV footage from that evening. He could identify that some of the men who beat him had already been in Feng Yao Street North area beforehand, and they were also involved in the later attack in Yunlong Station. 我見到啦，見到啦，係啊，係咯，呢個咯，呢個咯，即係見到佢都係嗰對藍色鞋，又係背心，又係黑色長褲，唉，仍然係呢一個啦。仲見到佢拿住一把遮啊，同佢呢個一樣嘅，都係嗰個紅色手打，又係呢對藍色鞋，又係背心，好明顯啊！呢件衫都係咁樣藍色上邊一格，跟住。
，呢一度又係藍色一格咁樣咯。喺當晚襲擊我同埋喺上西鐵站襲擊其他人嗰陣嘅人，根本其實係同一班人嚟嘅，根本係一個有有關係嘅。估唔到我第一次認人嘅程序，而唔係喺警局嘅，而係要用一個咁嘅形式去認人咯。即係當我哋都可以揾到一啲 CCTV 去講呢啲事情嘅時候，點解警察會做唔到定係唔做呢 ？Who were the white-clad men attacking ordinary people in the West Rail Station? At about 10:40 p.m., a man dressed in a white T-shirt bearing the Chinese characters Ha Kai was inside Yunlong Station with a long bat in his hand. A big logo showing a traditional building was printed on the back of his white T-shirt. He repeatedly swung a stand at passers-by. He later left the station together with a group of white-clad men. This man in blue pants and a white T-shirt bearing the characters Hakai had also appeared in a clip that was circulated online earlier that day. Outside Shekong Wai in Hachun Village, we found the same car park. Village Chief Tam Kam Fai is also the chair of Hakai Association, which falls under Yunlong Rural Committee. He denied any links between Hakai Association and the white-clad men of 721. <laughs> As for why a large group of white-clad men gathered in the village car park on the day, Tang said he wasn't in the village that day and didn't know what happened. There are no gates to the car park and it's free to park there. He can't stop anyone or any vehicle from going in or out, he said. We checked the logo that was printed on the back of white T-shirts bearing the characters Arkai. The T-shirt's logo is very similar to the logo for Hachun Rural Committee. So we went to the Rural Committee Chair, Tang Lai Tung, to ask him about it. It so happened that they had an event on the day of our visit. A Rural Committee member told us to make an appointment for an interview. However, a staff member in Tang Lai Tung's office said they generally didn't take interviews. So we went to find him at a district council meeting. 你哋講當日七二一下村鄉事委員會有冇派人去或者參與個活動啊？哎呀，你你哋而家你全部你講咩都唔唔緊要嘅，啱先？嗯，最緊要係與唔係，由由由警方決決決定 ，OK？ 咁如果有有有有有犯事嘅，由由警方去處理 ，OK？ 好，咁你自己，但係嗰陣時我哋點解會見到你哋嘅相？我哋嘅相，我哋成日成日主要話我哋嘅相。唔係，因為呢個我哋嘅相。你你你冇俾人哋冇認為為為話。或者俾俾人哋插裝嘅啫，係你而家你你你唔好講呢啲嘢 ，O K。即係呢件衫唔係你哋㗎啦，你唔睇啊？唔係可唔可以睇一睇呢件衫？大家先除曬條鏡好唔好？而家你唔好遮住啦，好唔好？ On 7:21, this man in pink attacked a reporter and passengers inside a train carriage. Earlier that evening, he was seen loitering on Fungyao Street North with a bamboo stick in his hand and a red string tied around his arm. Our reporters tried to find him at his home and farm in Camtin's Shapo village. However, no one ever answered the door, and his neighbors said they hadn't seen him for a long time. Villagers told our reporters to go away during their visit. On the evening of 721, a number of vehicles carrying white-clad men appeared on Fungyao Street North. Hong Kong Connection made car license plate checks and found out several of the vehicles were registered under the names of village representatives. This vehicle appeared just after 11 p.m. 
The vehicle's registered owner is Tang Fai Tai, a village representative from Mong Cheng Wai in Pingshan Heng. He left about 30 minutes later. We went to find him at his home. He said he just happened to pass by on the night. He refused to be interviewed. This vehicle appeared at 8.40 p.m. It parked right by a group of white-clad men. Two men in white t-shirts crossed the road after they got out of the car. The vehicle left just after 11 p.m. The registered owner of the vehicle is Wang Kuang Ning, a representative of Chuk Yun village in Santin Heng. We went to his home twice and saw the car parked outside his house. His family said he was suffering from an illness and was not available for interview. They also said he's not among the men in the video. We managed to find one village representative who was at the scene that evening. He said he's against all forms of violence. He's worried about getting doxxed, so he chose not to appear on camera. On July 21st last year, a number of vehicles appeared on Fongyao Street North carrying men in white T-shirts. Hong Kong Connection found the registered address for each license plate and contacted the registered owner of each vehicle one by one. I want to ask Liang Shan, is there any problem? I haven't been there. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. A family member of another car owner said he's now in the mainland and the car had been lent to a friend surnamed Kwok who lives in Yunlong. A person who claimed to work for Mr. Kwok then called us. In carrying a cross-border license plate, this car arrived at about 8.30 p.m. Around two hours later, a group of white-clad men handed out bamboo sticks from the car's boot. The car is held by a company, but its registered address led us to another business. The staff there said they'd never heard of the company under which the car was registered. Afterwards, a man called to tell us that he had bought the car from his friend to do cross-border trading business, and he simply didn't update the car registration. James is one of the shop owners that provided CCTV footage to us. He said his family had told him to stay out of trouble, fearing that his business would be drawn into the fray. However, he doesn't want to live with regrets. They did some kind of 
都唔能夠俾出嚟嘅話，咁我覺得香港就真係玩完啦。呢、这個位置就係當日七月二十一號啲白衣人聚集嘅地方。何君耀同白衣人係握手，但係嚟到今時今日，仍然冇任何嘅起訴，或者任何嘅調查都冇。On the night of 7:21, Junius Ho appeared on Fong Yau Street North after 10 p.m. He said he was just walking someone home, but for that he was vilified as a mastermind of the 721 attack. You are me, 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 you a week before 7:21 last year, Ho posted this video message on social media. 前日嘅上水，昨日嘅沙田，而家又話嚟搞呢個元朗，元朗就歡迎佢哋嚟。嚟到嘅時候點樣啊？會招呼佢哋，佢多多嚟，你就密啲手，將佢打到去啊，片甲不留。咁啊點啫？任何吹水都唔得噶。CCTV footage shows that several men left with Ho that night. One of them was holding a bat. Is a clan member, one of the clans. He has already said that he is going to kill the boys. He is going to kill the boys. It's not true. They ask him if he has seen anything. What brand? No brand. 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 All this is crap. Rubbish. 唔需要轉彎活角，因為冇意思嘅。觀眾想聽嘅一樣嘢就係何君瑤有冇有冇份參與，咁就講清楚係冇。如果有嘅，差人已經警方已經做咗嘢。Wang Si Chuan was one of the men who accompanied Junius Ho as he gave handshakes before they left together. Wang was a volunteer in Ho's campaign during the 2016 Legislative Council election. During the campaign, Ken Chow, another contestant in the same constituency, withdrew his bid just before the vote after claiming that Wang had pressured him to quit the race. CCTV footage from 721 showed that Wang appeared in a rally at around 8 p.m., holding symbols. He was joined by dozens of people holding placards that read, Defend Yun Long. At about 11 p.m., Wong was seen clapping his hands on the train station platform after white-clad men attacked passengers inside a West Rail train carriage. He was later arrested, but has so far not been charged for his role in the incident. We tried to find him at his company. We also made several visits to his home, but our attempts were unsuccessful. Billy Tang was another person who shook hands with Junius Ho before he appeared on Yunlong Station platform later that night. His brother is Ronnie Tang, district councillor for Yunlong's Pat Hung North. We found Billy Tang outside his brother's office. He was arrested but has so far not been charged in connection with the incident. After seeking legal advice, he said it was not appropriate for him to take part in our interview. The police have so far arrested about 40 people in connection with the 721 incident. A handful of them were charged with rioting and conspiracy to wound with intent. Several of the defendants and arrested persons had met Junius Ho that night. 咁如果我係被捕，咪遺憾咯。咁我對我嚟講係遺憾噶。咁我相信佢哋都係係係為佢自己保家衞族嘅啫，冇咁大件事啫。七二一係一個唔理想嘅情況，但係成件事唔係七二一一個原委。真正係乜嘢咧？顏色革命，有外國勢力。James thinks the 721 incident was a premeditated attack because the police had turned a blind eye to the more than 100 white-clad men that were already in Fung Yau Street North late afternoon that day. In reviewing CCTV footage, he spotted several men who he suspected to be plainclothes police officers. 
我哋見得到一位中國籍男子咧，佢手持一個疑似委任證或者一啲證件嘅嘢，咁佢不停來回呢一條街超過十幾次以上，咁啊而嗰個委任證咧，其實就係呢一個。咁但係我唔相信係一啲普通證件，譬如唔通圖書證嚟嘅咩？唔通將個身份證放開入去，然後掛出嚟咩？可以喺片段嗰度見得到，其實白衣人嘅手持一啲國旗啊，或者條狀嘅一啲物體，手持疑似委任證呢位朋友咧，似乎咧就冇任何嘅行為。嗱，呢個揸住碌棍嘅男子，跟住咧，我哋之前見到巡邏咗好多次嘅呢位疑似委任證人員咧，咁就已經望得到佢。跟住咧，佢揸住個棍一直行，然後咧佢視若無睹，跟住擰翻過去。佢見到咁樣嘅人聚集咗喺度，有好多唔同類型、各各式形式嘅武器，咁我覺得呢樣嘢實在係太離譜。The Independent Police Complaints Council report said the police had sent officers to the scene five times between 7:51 p.m. and 9:45 p.m. to report on the white-clad men's activities. Each time they reported no breach of the peace or criminal behaviour. Hong Kong Connection approached the Yunlong District Commander to verify if the men in the footage were plainclothes officers. I can't see you. Okay. 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 We asked if the men in the footage were plainclothes officers. The police did not respond to our question, so we were unable to confirm if they were police officers. The police repeated that they were actively following up on their investigation into the incident. The victim is constantly changing the history. The truth is that 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 the Thank you.